guys, this is Frederick Ekman from Wingfoil underscore Mallorca and today we are looking at all the fuss. What is all the fuss about? What I've been hearing a lot about this year is the year of the mast. So, what's wrong with having an aluminium mast? It's super stable, rigid, works really great. No, the guy says it's not stable enough. You have to get a stronger mast and what Axis did they put a whole new R&D team to make a new mast to be stiffer because of the pressure of the, the axis foils, the art is a lot. They created a new one. And of course, when you read about it in the Facebook and all the, the forums that we are as wing foilers are, you get curious, right? So, of course, as an axis rider, I got really curious and I said, all right, I sell an arm and a leg or something like that. And here it is. Can't go wrong. Everyone says it's great. When carving a foil, you move it in yaw and in roll. When rolling the foil, you load the mast in bending. We found the carbon mast stiffer in bending. The wingtips didn't deflect as much. When yawing the foil, you twist the mast in torsion. We found the aluminum mast stiffer in torsion. The wingtips didn't deflect as much. And finally, each mast weighed about the same. This is the new high modulus carbon mast. It comes in a, in a bunch of different sizes, 820, uh, 900, and even 1020. Um, this has really changed uh, foiling, in my opinion, because it's just such a rigid connection to your wing. Um, a lot of our biggest span wings, the, the connection is something I never imagined would be possible and really, really nice uh, addition to any foil in our range. You've got that on this huge wing right here, this yeah, 1310. So. The 1310 is a new pump wing that we've come out with and one of the things to actually designing that was coming out with the, with the, uh, the high modulus carbon wing to support that. It wouldn't have been possible on a normal mast. Um, as you go bigger and bigger, it becomes really important to have a, a super stiff connect. Now the interesting thing with this high modulus mast, as I've read about it, well it gives you a possibility to get up on lower wind. Uh, this one has less drag than the aluminium mast, possible to get up on foil with one or two knots lower wind. That sounds really interesting. If it's got less drag than the aluminium mast, then it would be really nice just wing foiling because it would be faster and smoother in the water. Well, we're about to find out. And the other thing, whew, the other thing with this is, ah, the question of do I upgrade or do I stay with what I've got now? For me, I see these marks being so beneficial with those wider span wings. We like the 999, 1099, up to the 1300. But if you're riding smaller wings, things like the 799, maybe even the 899, this is not massive benefit in such a stiff mark. Of course, yes, it's more instantaneous. It actually makes those wider wings feel a bit more surfy, a bit more responsive. But it's definitely not something that if you're riding those shorter wings, I'd be rushing to buy one, but... Okay, here we are then. <clears throat> Getting ready to go in the water. 5.2, 10, the 10.99, the 325, a Vio 5. Yeah, that's the setup for today. We probably have around 14, 16, 17 knots. It's going to be a good day. All right, it's going to be fun. Let's do this.
okay this is not my absolute first ride with it with the high modulus 82 mast i've done a few rides maybe five um, and my first impression without a doubt was so smooth it just cuts through the water like a hot knife through butter it's very smooth it's it's noticeably easier and lighter to ride this one a lot less resistance in the water uh, compared to the aluminium mast and with the 1099 great what a what an absolute awesome combination and also i i changed the 375 to 325 and that has been a real game changer i was happy with the 375 great but still thought it like mm, it was something not it wasn't as smooth as, and as, as fluid that i was looking for um so i i bought the 325 put that one on and here we are here we are here we are it's nice and smooth buttery feel okay i get it it takes some time to get used to the pitch because it's very sensitive uh, but after a while you've been out riding sometimes you get used to it and then you are on top of it it's amazing absolutely amazing all right enough chatting about that i just wanted to share a little bit about um, my impressions it's uh, really nice really nice the high modulus carbon even though it's bloody expensive it's uh, well worth the money it gives you another dimension it takes you to another level yeah you can't go wrong with this guy all right back to riding okay a new day a new game uh, today we are a few days later than the other one we have a sunny day not a gray dull like it was the other day it's a nice day diane is going in here now we're having about oh i don't know 14 15 knots uh, the game on today is the axis pro 10.99 short fuselage 325 Bio 6 that's what the setup is today and uh, I wanted to, to try the short fuselage with the 325 piece how they two work together um, and of course I got the high modulus mast not to forget all right time to go in the water
to say a few words today with this high modulus mass on 325 which is really quick and loose with the 1099 and the short fuse I've said before that the short fuse is a bit boring it's too safe too too straight and too dull but today it's not today catching a wave it's great um, it just makes everything easy steady stable and pumping is okay a little bit slower a little slower cadence than when you have the Alta short fuse launch on uh, when you have this, a longer fuse launch so 10 centimeter extra length is noticeable but I like it with the 375 I wasn't too impressed I just thought it was a bit too slow but with the 325 it changed completely and of course the high modulus mask the carbon mask does make things different it's a lot of money but if you're serious about wing coiling, if you're serious about having really good time on the water, it's worth the investment. It's worth the investment. Just go for it. You won't regret it. That's, mark my word. Okay, let's back to the riding. fantastic session here today with waves maybe half a meter to a meter swelling in in nice series yeah very good maybe 15 16 17 knots beautiful another amazing day here in paradise Mallorca a windfall paradise possibly all right thank you for watching this is Eric Ekmark from windfall underscore Mallorca signing off and um, remember to like, share and subscribe if you like this video and if you want to see more videos click on the subscribe button and um, I will, yes, I will see you in the next video stay safe today 16 17 knots waves wind sun nice and temperature what more can you ask for yes a fantastic session and also wrapping up uh, the last of the test rides from for the uh, high modulus carbon mast uh, that i've been doing the last uh, couple of weeks L last week maybe i should say yeah that's it guys see you in the next video